Hi, welcome back. Um, I vlogged this whole weekend for you guys and my mom was in town and we went up to the mountains and I got some really cool shots of the snow and that trip and I did some running, I hung out, I shopped, I kikied, I blah blah blah. So spend the weekend with me in this vlog and at the end we'll hang out and talk. Woo! Gondola pass secured. San Diego! Run day. We got seven miles today, which is the longest I'll ever have ran consecutively. And my whoop said I was 50% recovered yesterday, which is like kind of low. But what do I look like taking direction from a whoop? So we out here low and slow. I don't give a damn about the pace. We're just gonna try and finish without stopping. Four point two miles down. I'm feeling good. We're striding out.
oh, excuse me, I'm using my phone as a mic because my mic is in charge and when inspiration strikes, you got to record and da da da. Anyway, I figured we would just talk and catch up on how life is going, my personal life, my, my social media stuff. And I wanted to talk about the books I've been reading. I got some book recs and some thoughts there. And also dive a little bit into how I've been feeling about TikTok and making content on there specifically. So yeah, just a few things I wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to chit chat. I wanted to talk my shit on YouTube. You know, it's kind of fun to just sit down and talk. All these other platforms, you gotta make stuff so bite-sized and then and then I'm just gonna talk and who's gonna stop me, you know? I love that. So first of all, um, my personal life has been so busy. My work has been actually been making me clock in the whole day and work nonstop. So it's been making it hard to make YouTube videos, to make Instagram reels, to make TikToks, to get all that stuff out. And at the same time, I have a lot of like obligations for some brand deals I've done, some of which are already out. So I just did a three video deal with Tomboy X. If you don't know them, they're like a queer owned they do boxers and bras but now swimsuits so a great brand by the way i've worked with a lot of companies and some of them are shittier than others and they were just great through and through in terms of like talking to people in terms of fair pay in terms of size inclusivity in terms of having different options for different people queer owned like they want it to be masked they wanted me to be me I like that. Okay, so let me just preach on that. That's number one. I also did one with Abercrombie for their new spring collection. By the way, these shorts are Abercrombie. They sent me a few of their denim um, from their men's new arrivals, and I've liked them a lot. So I would definitely recommend them, and they're a fantastic brand to work with too. Like their creative team comes up with the concept, and they'll send me a video of a video i made before and they're like we loved this concept this is really true to your style we were thinking for our video you could do this 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 and like they they tailor made a concept for me usually as a creator they say we're doing this campaign you write the concept send it to me and that's fine and i do that but abercrombie said we're like here's starting point concept and it was dead ass in line with the stuff i usually post so i'm like Wow, y'all really did your research. And so I appreciate them. I like working with them. Anyways, so between actual work and like brand deals that I already signed off that I would be doing, it hasn't had as much time to make the fun stuff that I want to make like YouTube. So anyway, we're back. I have been posting YouTube shorts. I don't know if you guys or anyone has noticed, but um, if you're seeing me for the first time from a YouTube short, that's really cool. I have a ton on my phone from Instagram and TikTok, and I was like, I'm just going to upload these and see what happens. So I don't really know uh, what they'll do for my channel, but if you met me from that, then welcome. That's exciting. Yay. My mom's been in town. You just saw the video montage probably of us going around doing the fun thing. So that's been you know, always fun and exciting. Me and my mom are really close. So it's cute. We're like girls, we're besties. You know, she asked me questions about being a lesbian. I try to answer. She understands partially and we keep it pushing. It's honestly, it's a good little dynamic we got going on. So yes, love her, but she's gone. So I'm back to work. And um, I wanted to talk about some of the books I've been reading. I mentioned in my San Francisco vlog that I was reading Mastery by Robert Greene. And I finished that whole book I finished. And I thought it was really, really informative to the point where I'm highlighting stuff in my Kindle. And I discovered Kindle has this feature where you can export your notes and send them to your laptop. So I like condensed down the like main gist of my favorite highlights and like referred through all of them. This is so nerdy, by the way. And I've been doing this type of note taking for nonfiction type books like Mastery. Um, I've been doing stuff like this since I was in high school because I am a nerd in my soul. But it's really good for, like, if you ever read a book and it's helpful, you don't want to just forget all the information that you learned. You want to try to, you know, condense and apply and, like, get some use out of it. I mean, it feels good to read something that gives you a new idea, but if we don't actually sit down and make systems to make it happen, it might not happen. So the things I learned from that book was kind of on the lines of, and, I, and I'm kind of applying it in the lens of making videos, making YouTube, and... This is all still new and fun and getting started and I'm not taking this too seriously, but I am like, 
dang, I really, I really want to get really good at making videos like this or like vlogs or I don't know. But at the end of the day, I want to get really good at the things I do. So it's kind of about how to really hone in on learning skills and also um, how to be creative and free thinking. So, oh my gosh, let me make sure my thing is still recording. If you're into like self-improvement or, or even just like life purpose, I'm curious about um, how I can reach my potential. That's kind of the book you want to pick up if you like that shit. I personally do. Anyway, when I was in San Francisco, I picked up Shoe Dog. This is a memoir by the creator of Nike about making Nike, starting the brand, hustling and bustling and growing it, which I think is really interesting and cool. And I always have had a kind of entrepreneurial streak. I ran a jewelry business for a while. I do content creation on the side, like as an influencer outside of my job. So I'm kind of into the, the hustle, like entrepreneurial mindset. So this was really cool to see how the things that he went through um, and like the trials and how he overcame them. And it's written in like a narrative storytelling kind of way. It's not just boring fact, fact, fact. Like it's, it's his account of it. Also, he's into running and I'm getting into running too. Maybe more on that later. Actually, all there is to say is I'm still training for a half marathon. I did a long run of seven miles yesterday, which is the longest I've done in this training block, which is so cool, I guess. I feel like I could have went longer, but like, I'm like seven miles, look at me, I did that. We started at being dead tired after three. So come on now, make some noise. So there's that. I also wanted to tap in and if you, if anybody is watching this video and you wanna leave your thoughts in the comments, that would be so cool. I've loved getting YouTube comments cause they can be longer and more thought out. Like this has been so much fun to reply to people's comments. So if anyone's watching this and gives a shit what I'm about to talk about, then that'd be cool if you comment, I don't know, shit. But um, I've been thinking about TikTok and has anybody gotten tired of TikTok lately? Like I'm talking about, I can literally feel my brain getting dumber as I'm scrolling TikTok. And it's such cheap, gimmicky stuff. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm outgrowing it or maybe it's getting worse. And there are a lot of ads and there are a lot of TikTok, sh TikTok shop um, things polluting the For You page. But the more I think about it and the more I realize that the al algorithm is intentionally addictive and how much time in my day it's taking from my goals or just taking care of myself or just being able to fully relax or interact with people, it's kind of been something that's increasingly become less interesting to me. Like the app, the algorithms are forever getting better, but I've spent less and less time on TikTok. And that's interesting because I started my content creator career on TikTok when I was in college, like two years ago. I used to post twice a day on TikTok and it's gr it grew from there to like more than 300,000 uh, followers on TikTok. And I loved the app. I loved making things on there. I loved how you didn't need a fancy camera. Like you just needed cool ideas and you could find your people on there. And all of that is still true. But as a creator, I'm kind of more interested in like what long form content is in the future. And not even just as a creator, but as a consumer, I'm listening to really long podcast episodes and I watch like 30 minute YouTube videos and love every second of it. I kind of like the idea of being really intentional with what people you're watching, like what you're consuming and um, the time you're spending doing it. And when I'm creating stuff myself, it's easier to make something that's shorter, like an Instagram reel I can make in one day and it's less than a minute. It's, it's easier to do that in quantity, but from the few like videos I've made on here on YouTube, I'm like, well, it's kind of fun that to not have to be brief and gimmicky and have a hook all the time. I mean, I guess my videos would do better if I had better hooks and thumbnails and da 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 da, -da and that's a whole other learning curve, but at least I have more than one minute with you guys, like with you guys, who is watching these? Anyway, I put time limits on the social apps on my phone. So God, this is going to really expose me, but I put a one hour time limit on Instagram and TikTok. I don't usually hit the TikTok one, uh, time limit. Cause like I said, I'm just getting bored, 
But on Instagram, I'll usually hit that. And that's kind of because I'm making reels and posting them a lot of the time and like responding to comments. So I kind of count that as creating and not consuming, which is a little bit better. But God damn, I don't know. That's helped me. And then I also set up like a work do not disturb in the morning from like 930 to 1130. So I'm only getting like Slack messages, Gmail, Google Calendar, like stuff for my job and not all this other random, random, random notifications. Because another thing about being an influencer is that you get happy hella notification so i just turned tiktok off <sighs> so yeah i don't know if anyone else been feeling like some short form content burnout and has found alternative solutions that they liked i would love to hear people's thoughts nonetheless feels good to sit down and chit chat to chit chat with the with the with the youtube people like what's going on what's tea like what's going on leave a comment i love to reply and thanks for watching another episode and i'll see you next week mm -hmm.